Hello everybody, this is John Benson and uh, hope everybody's doing great. I'm going to do some of my own personal thoughts and comments on a movie called Colossal. It was written and directed by Nacho Vigalando, hope I said that correctly, and uh, it stars Anne Hathaway, Jason Sudeikis, and, and a bunch of other people. Um, there's not really that many people in the movie. I mean, there's lots of people in Seoul, uh, but the movie mostly takes place in well, New York City or somewhere in the United States. And the, the cast is relatively small, which is nice. There, there's a lot of dialogue in this movie. It is the dialogue and the relationships between the characters that are most of this movie. The monster, which is in Seoul, isn't a whole lot of the movie. It's a lot of the fun part of the movie, just like Godzilla is the fun part of Godzilla. But, um, it really isn't the, the main thing of what's going on. Well, kind of. I mean, if that's what you think is the main thing, great. Uh, but there are these issues going on in the movie. It starts out with uh, Anne Hathaway's character being kicked out of uh, the apartment where she's been living with her boyfriend because she's been out partying too much. And, and there's a lot that goes into her alcohol abuse. Um, so there, there's that sort of thing that's going on in this. Uh, and and she is somewhat of a monster, even though it is very low key, and 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 and, and it keeps to this horror comedy type thing to to a degree, um, because to a degree alcoholism or any kind of being a monster isn't that funny. Somehow this movie is able to pull off this kind of humor with a very serious subject or subjects because it goes into not just alcoholism but also goes into kind of abusive manipulative uh, relationships uh, dependency codependency uh, and uh, domestic abuse uh, it's it's not funny it's these are very serious issues and I think this movie is trying to um, discuss those issues and discuss them in a way that it can be in a pop movie because if it was tried to be spoken about in a more serious way, it certainly wouldn't be uh, very entertaining. It would be more educational and it'd be a very difficult uh, movie to watch. So it, this movie is not difficult to watch. There are a couple of difficult moments, but it, it is always trying to be humorous about it. Not that it doesn't take the subject seriously, but that it it is not taking itself so seriously. It's not doing it in the most serious way. Just like a monster movie uh, where uh, Godzilla or Monster X or any other movie goes, monster goes and smashes up a city and kills lots of people. That's not funny either. It's, that's a horrible thing to happen also. Yet at the same time, you know it's not real. It's kind of comic uh, fantasy. It's not really happening. So we can distance ourselves from it to a degree. Uh, and, and that's what this movie is also trying to do. Trying to give some distance to the subject, hopefully so that we can uh, discuss the subject in a way. So I, I, I think that's a good thing to do, at least to, to get it out there and get it to a place where it, to be, where it can be discussed as opposed to not talking about it at all. So, uh, so I'm sure there's people, or there's there's an idea, I guess I could have, where maybe that's not the best thing uh, for such a serious topic, but in a way, I, I understand that the director's trying. Well, see how it gets when you get into these subjects. It can get really not entertaining. Um, they are trying to have fun with the movie. There are some very comic moments, or whatever, humorous moments. It's not the, it's not out laugh out loud comedy all the time uh, at, at all but there are some funny things such as Anne Hathaway's character that I don't know the, the wig or the costumes that they have her wear um, especially when she gets back to her hometown are, was to me pretty funny I, I thought they kind of got that or they nailed that look pretty well um, and, uh, and and there are some other things they do uh, and so you know, it's a it's a it's a good movie. 
the it was very thoughtful. The the acting is extremely good. I mean Anne Hathaway. Um, all of the main actors in it are are wonderful. In fact, even whatever the extras in Soul, I mean, it's exactly what you want from a monster movie type thing. So that was all done very well. Um, the directing also is very good. I mean, and I think that the director, uh, you know, maybe this is just my own personal opinion, but it really seems like the director was trying to imitate other directors in certain scenes in a way to be funny, to, to point that out. And I think there was certainly one, um, one scene that where uh, the director was trying to imitate, I think, uh, Shyamalan or uh, the, the director of Sixth Sense because there's a there's a scene that's kind of like it and and it's kind of like it enough so that you know I was like oh oh that's you know they're making fun of whatever of that directing style uh, that that is there so I thought that was kind of funny so it it's they are being playful with it trying to be humorous with it on several different levels there's also some interesting writing things where you know there's these switches um, because Anne Hathaway's character starts out as, well, she's being kind of bad or horrible, um, and she's drinking too much, but then you find out that the uh, boyfriend who kicked her out also was not a great person in any dream, you know, somewhat enabling, uh, this, uh, Anne Hathaway's character, and, and so he isn't good himself, and then you kind of find that out about each of the main characters has something that's not really good. In fact, you know, in other words, everybody's kind of a monster in their own way. And I think that's kind of the discussion that's coming out here is that, you know, we all have that potential in a way, you know, maybe not, maybe not everybody, but, but you know, there's, there's that thing where people can be a monster and we should be aware of it. Each one, you know, aware, self-aware of, when or how we could be monsters and try not to be. So I think that's a, a positive takeaway on this. Um, that, that again, might just be my own personal opinion, but there it is. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope everybody out there is doing great and uh, see you next time. Thank you.